Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is September 6, 2024, the day after Kansas City beat Baltimore in the NFL's 2024 season opener. Let's talk about that, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's just point out something that's contentious right now because it's the first month of the season, right? But as magnificent as Kansas City has looked, and they're 1-0, folks, they just won yesterday, they're not going to 3 P. right? No team has 3 peated during the Super Bowl era. I understand if you go back to Vince Lombardi and the Green Bay Packers who did win the first two Super Bowls, you could say, okay, they won the championship before the two Super Bowls. They three-peated. Folks, you have to go back that far. In other words, these dynasty teams, great teams, the San Francisco 49ers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, Right, the Dallas Cowboys, they didn't three-peat. That's how difficult it is. Now, I know it's counterintuitive here. Pat Mahomes, three Super Bowl MVPs, no question about it. More than 290 passing yards yesterday against Baltimore. Right, Pat Mahomes is dominant. The Kansas City offense is not, folks. They don't have the horses on offense. Let me point out, too, that you heard Chris Collinsworth talk about how fast the Kansas City wide receivers were. Right, folks? This is a league where old-timers like me watched Ron Brown, if you remember him, world-class speed. Ronaldo Nehemiah, if you remember him, world-class speed, right? Neither of them was close to the wide receiver that Jerry Rice was. Understand, it takes more than speed. Sure, you've had some burners, Moss, uh, Allsworth, Lance Allsworth. You've, you've had some burners who were Hall of Famers, right? Cliff Branch, right? I'm not here to deny that. But all I'm saying is, in KC, in a salary cap era, right, their burners aren't exactly Tyreek Hill and company. They're just not. So, let's actually look at the numbers. You know Kansas City played at home, right, home opener after a Super Bowl win. Travis Kelsey, healthy in the lineup. Mahomes, healthy in the lineup. Pacheco, healthy in the lineup. Right, okay, they were missing a wide receiver, but Rasheed Rice, over 100 receiving yards. Clearly, the numbers would show that this offense was clicking. Right, high 20s in terms of points scored. Well, let's look at the numbers. And keep in mind, if you look at last year's numbers, that's the tip-off. The offense was pedestrian. It was a Pro Bowl quarterback with a pedestrian offense. So now we get to this year. First downs. Yesterday's Thursday night game. Baltimore, 25 first downs. 25. Kansas City, at home, 21. Right, total net passing yards. And keep in mind, this is a game where Lamar, of course, rushes for over 100 yards. So clearly, the total net passing yards, you're thinking Mahomes, you're thinking Kelsey, you're thinking Rashi Rice, 281 for Kansas City. 267 for the Baltimore Ravens. That brings us to total yards. 353 total yards for the Chiefs. Let me repeat that. 353 total yards for the Chiefs. Baltimore. 
452. Right? Sometimes you have to sound a little bit wonkish. Rushing yards. Kansas City. 20 rush attempts. It's not like they didn't try to run the football. Now, 20 times 4 would give you 80 rushing yards, right? 4 yards per carry. Not great, but not too bad. Kansas City had 72 rushing yards yesterday compared to Baltimore's 185. Right? Time of possession. <clears throat> Folks, the game's in Kansas City. What more do you need? 26 minutes and 17 seconds for the Chiefs compared to 33 minutes and 43 seconds for the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Right, folks? The Kansas City offense is not carrying the team. It's the defense. Right, that's who Kansas City is. Two consecutive Super Bowl victories in. They don't have a decided edge on the rest of the league. Let's remember last year, that was them in Buffalo in the playoffs. <laughs> that was them visiting the Ravens. In other words, this is a team that was lucky to get into the playoffs. They had to travel on the road. Right, folks, the margins dissipated. They're rewarding veterans like Travis Kelsey with big deals <clears throat> for not future performance, but past performance. Right, I believe 66, that's how old he is, 66-year-old Andy Reid understands. The odds are against them, just like the odds of a 3 P were against the Niners, the Steelers, the Dolphins, right? You know, the other great teams in league history. There's a play where Pat Mahomes runs out of bounds and a Raven, of course, tapped him while he was out of bounds. No flag was thrown, right? It wasn't flagrant, right? I'm telling you the crowd went silent. That's how fragile the Chiefs' success is. The crowd went silent. They understood. You lose Pat Mahomes, and you're in trouble. Let me point out, <laughs> with Pat Mahomes, 291 passing yards, we can overlook the 72 rushing yards. Right? And that included some impressive runs by Pacheco. Understand, even with the impressive runs... 72 rushing yards, right? You better hope Pat Mahomes is 100% the entire year. And even if he is, understand there are some tough teams out there in the AFC. Whoever comes out of the AFC North could be the Ravens. Understand how close these teams are. The Ravens literally lost this by a toe. Right? Understand who the Ravens are. You actually saw it all in the last minute. They thought they'd scored a touchdown. As some players were embracing, it wasn't enough for John Harbaugh. The camera caught him holding up two fingers. He wanted to go for the win, not the overtime. Right, the Ravens were prepared to win the game. That's the mindset. Then, of course, we get to replay. Truth be told, there's one angle where when I see that angle, it looks to me like the guy's toe is on the line. I don't have a problem with the decision. I thought the toe was on the line, and it's an all or nothing. Right, either your foot is completely in bounds or it's out of bounds. Right, I don't have a problem with the call. But... People need to realize this was a close game. I also thought the Ravens pulled a punch. Last year in the playoffs, what cost the Ravens the game? Some would argue it's that they lost confidence running the football. So, of course, in the offseason, they get Derrick Henry. Who's their 
opponent out the gate, it's Kansas City. Hey, we have a debt to pay back here. How many times do they give Derrick Henry the ball? 20? 25 times? No, no. They gave him the ball 13 times, folks. I'm guessing. I'm guessing the logic was. Let's save Derrick. So we have an element of surprise when we eventually face these guys again down the road. Right? Because we kind of have figured out there's no one else in Kansas City's division. Right? Look, let's face it. I'm a big fan of Jim Harbaugh. Right? Jim Harbaugh, great coach. Um, I can tell you he turned around my alma mater's college program. Right? He ends up with the 49ers. Folks, they were living in the uh, conference finals. You would have thought they were uh, Steve McNair from back when the Titans were living in the conference finals, right? You know, he's a great coach. The people in Michigan know that, right? Um, the bottom line is he's a new coach who has been out of the NFL, right? He has NFL experience, right? But He's figuring out the lay of the land. You know, I'm a Pac-12 guy. Justin Herbert, I love Justin Herbert. I thought Justin Herbert should have been the first quarterback taken the year he came out. But the bottom line is, he hasn't quite lived up to the promise, has he? And you know the situation with the Chargers. Right? They play in the same building as the Rams, but yet the Rams, according to all these Forbes reports and stuff, are worth more than a billion dollars more than the Chargers because, of course, the fans don't come out for the Chargers. Right? The Chargers are the kind of team where you're sitting in the stadium and a team that hasn't played in L.A. for years. The Raiders will pull as many fans as the Chargers. I don't think the Chargers are going to be able to challenge the Chiefs. Not that I think the Chiefs are all that. Right? But let's face it. The Chargers aren't ready. The Raiders aren't ready. I was in a fantasy pool. Devontae Adams went relatively early. You did not hear a Raider name again for most of the draft. And keep in mind, this was a pool in the Bay Area where the Raiders have honorary status, right? Where guys like Al Davis would be on the Mount Rushmore of the Bay Area, right? Folks, nobody picked any Raiders after Devontae Adams went. I'm talking about for most of the draft, right? It was in the desperate rounds where you suddenly started seeing these Raider players, right? Josh Jacobs, gone. You know, let's face it, too. I said I'm a Pac-12 guy. I believe in Bo Nix. He's a rookie quarterback. I want people to go back and look at how many picks Peyton Manning threw his rookie year. Right? You can be all that and not get it done <laughs> your first year in the NFL. Also, let's face it, too. I think Russell Wilson's a future Hall of Famer. Right? Uh, Russell's one of my favorite quarterbacks. Uh, the bottom line is that passing game, even with Sean Payton in Denver, was out of sync. Jerry Judy is gone now. Right? So you're talking about a rookie. Uh, you're talking about a passing attack that's not going to be confused with the best in the league. Denver's not going to compete with the Chiefs. So the Chiefs, I believe, are going to end up in the playoffs. But they won't be as battle-tested as any team that makes it out of the AFC North. Right? And I'm guessing that AFC North is going to have at least one wildcard team. Right? Just food for thought. You know, rookie quarterback in Denver, um, rookie head coach. I know he's not really a rookie, but he's new to the scene in uh, Los Angeles. Um... 
a Raider team that just doesn't have the talent to compete at the highest levels at this stage, Chiefs are going to win that division. Now that said, I'll be fading them in the playoffs, folks. Again, look at the numbers here. 72 yards rushing. I know they went up against one of the better defenses in the league. Right? But let's just say these offensive numbers where they're outgained by 99 yards by a Raven team that was sputtering at times. Right? At home in a high-profile game where you're the only show in town. Right? This was the opener. This was the only game on Thursday. And Kansas City got out gained by 99 yards. Right, folks? Winning that third ring is difficult. Guys have been paid. Um, some vets are soaking up most of the salary cap. I'm not saying they don't deserve the money. Chris Jones, Mahomes, Kelsey, hey, they deserve the money. The problem is that leaves you talking about fast wide receivers who are completely unproven. That leaves you with Rashi Rice, not Tyreek Hill, but Rashi Rice as your go-to receiver, right? In a game where he gets over 100 receiving yards and the team still gets outgained by 99 yards by their opponent, right? I praise Kansas City for winning a tough game. Obviously, the Ravens, um, the one seed from last year's playoffs, are one of the tougher outs in the league. But at the same time, yes, I'm fading them. Right? You know, if I'm betting them on futures, folks, it's, it's a hedge position. It's because I'm hoping some other teams shine. Right? I view, you know, I view Kansas City as really a above-average defense and a first-ballot Hall of Fame quarterback carrying, and I mean carrying, a pretty pedestrian offensive unit. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. We'll see how this video ages, right? If we're in mid-December and KC's up there around 13 wins... <laughs> And, you know, we're all talking about how last year KC had to go on the road uh, to get to the Super Bowl. This year they get to stay at home and stuff like that. Okay, I'll concede. This video will not have aged well. But if, as I suspect, KC is going to struggle a bit, right? KC might get to 11 wins. You're going to look around the league. You're going to say, wow, you know, KC's really a defensive team and the Jets who play the Niners, right, this coming um, Monday, uh, the Jets have a better defense. If you look at teams from the North and you say to yourself, wow, you know, Lamar's offensive line is now clicking in a way it didn't the first week of the season, right? You know, <laughs> certain things can break certain ways that could lead most fans to realize that KC is not going to three-peat, right? Folks, even empires come to an end. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.